whenever you suspect a patient's got lupus, okay, and the patient comes with features suggestive of nephritic or nephrotic, immediately in your head you should say, hey, could this patient have nephritic or nephrotic because of lupus, right? So can you get a double strand of DNA and ANA and diagnose it based on labs? You can't. Why? Because it can cause a wide variety of problems in the kidney. So how are you going to diagnose them? You have to do a biopsy. This basically tells you you have what we call as a full house. You all play poker? Yeah, you play poker. You talk about full house, right? This is what we call a full house presence of antibodies and immune complexes having G, A, M, C3 and C1Q meaning most of your antibodies as well as your complement factors are present. So this is going to be called your full house. So the full house presence is very unique for SLE. If you look under an electron microscopy, what did I tell you was different about SLE attacking your body versus everybody else? SLE goes for the DNA. Right? If you affect your DNA, I told you you're going to be scarred for life. Why? Whenever you damage DNA, you release something we call as interferon. Okay? You release a lot of interferon. And this chronic presence of interferon in the body will cause certain changes to the glomerular endothelial cells. Telling that cell, hey, I have had interferon stimulate me for such a long time. It scars the cell. And what is that called? Tibulo reticular inclusions. And the basic idea of tibulo reticular inclusions are presence of certain structures within the endothelial cells telling you there's been constant stimulation because of interferon. The only time interferon is going to be released like that in such a persistent way in glomerular nephritis is when you attack your DNA. And the only one who attacks DNA is SLE.